Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to save an Excel spreadsheet in CSV format. So CSV stands for comma separated values and you can think of CSV as a way of saving um, Excel based data or spreadsheet based data which allows that data to be imported into other applications. So a good example would be saving a Excel spreadsheet and then being able to import a list of email addresses into MailChimp which is a, a newsletter system. So MailChimp would require for you to save your data as a CSV format. Same with Hootsuite where I post all of my bulk schedule messaging and Hootsuite also requires a CSV file. So you can create your data in Excel, save it as an Excel file and then afterwards resave that data as a CSV file for importing into Hootsuite or MailChimp as a good example. So let's open up Microsoft Excel. In fact, we'll go to this folder. I already have a blank file saved here. So I've just created an Excel file. It's an empty file. And normally when you create your document, you should go to File, Save As and give it a good file name. This is just the file name I'm using and save it. So in here, we have our columns and in this first column we might put name and here we might put email address and maybe a telephone number you can have various columns which contain the data the point is that you want to do your data entry and after you've done that save it as a csv file so i'm going to add a couple of examples but i'm going to do a few things in here I'm going to make these top ones bold and in here I'm going to just put in some names so I've got just four names in there normally this spreadsheet will be much longer with more details and then um, We'll just take these email addresses. And we can say that these will be the email addresses. So I'm just making up this information just for some data entry. And we'll put in a few telephone numbers here. Let's make them all unique. Okay, so we'll have a few rows of data. We can save this spreadsheet. And then we're gonna to go to this button here and then click Save As. And when we click Save As in the drop down, you're gonna get all these different types of formats. And if you wanna save it as a CSV file, then you need to click here so make sure you select this option CSV comma separated values and then we save this it's going to ask you are you sure you want to save it in this format and normally I'd save it as an Excel spreadsheet first and then I'll save it as a CSV file afterwards there's a good reason for that and I'll show you in a moment so let's close this down And inside our folder, we've got two files now. We've got an Excel spreadsheet and we've got a CSV file. Now, if I were to open up the Excel spreadsheet again and maybe make some changes like make these different color, for example, you may want to highlight them for a certain reason. The yellow ones could be pending, the green ones could be active or something like this and save it. Uh, and then I go back and file save as CSV file so I'll overwrite the original file CSV file let's just close this and save it so we have basically two fo two uh, documents here with identical data but you can see the different file sizes the CSV file will only contain the raw data 
the Excel file will contain the same data but with those colors and bold or italic or whatever you might have done to the actual uh, visual representation of that information. So when we open up this CSV file in Excel, we'll see that it's only got the data in there. It doesn't have any of the bold or the colors or the, any of that information. But if we open up the original CSV, uh, sorry, Excel file, we'll see it has all the colors and so forth. So really, the only difference between these two documents is the Excel will con contain all of the color formatting or any formatting that you've applied, formulas as well, and the CSV just contains the raw data. So we can right click on this CSV and we can open it with Notepad and we can see that raw data in there. And let's take a look at it to understand it. So you've got the name, email and telephone numbers. You can think of those as the three columns, the headings. And then you've got the data sitting underneath. And you'll notice that the data is separated with a comma, which is why we call it a CSV, comma separated values. So now we can take this information and import it into MailChimp, for example, and it will import the person's name, their email address, and their telephone number. That's what will go into MailChimp for sending your newsletter, but you may want to capture some other information in there. So that's how you create a CSV file using Microsoft Excel. And normally what I would do is create the Excel file first, save that as an Excel file, so I've got the data there, and then I'll create the CSV file afterwards by using the file save as and saving as a CSV. So I hope that all makes sense. If you've got any problems, you can give me a, a quick message on YouTube or any of the other social media where I'll post this video and I'll try and help you. Okay, I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.